This lesson is about conversion of measure of capacity. And we're going to use the metric system of measurement. Well, in here, you have to remember that in measure of capacity, the basic unit is liter. KL stands for kiloliter, HL for hectoliter, DAL for decoliter, L for liter, DL for deciliter, and CL for centiliter, and lastly, ML for milliliter. Now, let us have our example. We are going to convert 14 kiloliter to liter. And how are we going to do that? So this is the converter diagram. So the first thing that we need to do is to write the given. The given is 14. Next is to find out the location of the decimal point. Well, since 14 is a whole number, the decimal point is at the right side of the last digit. Now, we have to find out how many spaces from kiloliter to liter. Let us count. One, two, three. There are three movements to the right, and therefore, we will also move the decimal point three times to the right. One, two, three. And this will be the new location of the decimal point. Now what to do with the spaces in here? Well, since there are no any other numbers, we're going to add zeros on the spaces. Which means to say that 14 kiloliters is equivalent to 14,000 liters. Because we added three zeros. Another. Let us try to convert 289 decoliter to deciliter. So let us use again the converter diagram. So let us write the given. 289. Again, this is a whole number and therefore... The decimal point is at the right side of the last digit. So let us count how many spaces from the decoliter to the deciliter. 1, 2, which means to say that we're going to move the decimal point two times. 1, 2, and we are going to add two zeros, which means to say that 289 decoliters is equivalent to 28,900 deciliters. Again, if the movement is to the right, the movement of the decimal point must be to the right also. Another, let us convert 12.478 hectoliters to centiliters. So let's use again the converter diagram. From the given, we have 12.478. As you observe, the given number is not a whole number because we have here the decimal point, which means this is the point that we're going to move. Now, let us count how many movements from hectoliter to centiliter. One, two, three, four. There are four movements, which means we're going to move this decimal point four times to the right. One, two, three, four. Now, how many zeros are we going to add? That's correct. We're only going to add one zero because there are already numbers on these spaces, which means that if we copy our answer, we'll have 124,780.
Next one. For number 4, 0 0.52 kiloliters to hectoliters. So let us write the given. 0 0.52. Again, the given number is not a whole number because we have here the decimal point. So, how many steps from kiloliters to hectoliters? As you observe, it is very obvious that there is only one movement to the right. And we have our decimal point in here, and we will move it once to the right. Now, as you observe, the decimal point in here is between 5 and 2. We're not going to write 0 anymore because 0 has no value, which means that the answer in here will be 5.2. Another. For number 5, let us convert 7.248 liters to milliliters. So, let us write the given 7.2. Four, eight. Now, how many movements from liters to milliliters? One, two, three. Which means we will move the decimal point three times to the right. One, two, three. And therefore, the answer will be 7,248. Next, for number six. We're going to convert 403 liters to decaliters. So let us write the given. 403. And since this is a whole number, the decimal point is at the right side of the last digit. Now how many steps from liters to decaliters? It's very obvious that there is only one movement. However, as you observe, the movement is to the left. Which means to say that we're going to move the decimal point to the left. And therefore, the answer will be 40.3. Another. Let us convert 2,500 centiliters to liters. So let us write the given. 2,500. Now how many steps from centiliters to liters? 1, 2. There are two movements to the left. And since this is a whole number, the decimal point is at the right side of the last digit. And we're going to move it two times to the left. One, two. As you observe, it is between five and zero. And the next digit is another zero. But since this has no value, we can just simply write 25. Which means 2,500 centiliters is equivalent to 25 liters. For number 8, let us convert 21 centiliters to kiloliters. So again, let us write the given. So since this is a whole number, this will be the location of the decimal point. Now, how many steps from centiliters to kiloliters? Let us count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, we will move this 5 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And this will be the location of the decimal point. Now, there are no numbers in here. Which means to say that we are going to add zeros. The answer will write three zeros and then 21. However, a decimal number must not start with a decimal point. Which means to say that we have to add zero. 
And for the last one, on number 9, let us convert 4.7 deciliter to decaliter. So let's write the given, 4.7. And how many steps? 1, 2, 2 steps. So we will move this 2 steps to the left. 1, 2. So this will be the location of the decimal point. And if we write that, we'll have 0, 4, 7. Again, we should not start a decimal number with a decimal point, which means to say that we have to add 0. And that's it. I hope you learned. Thank you.